Testing, testing. Welcome to Wickerson Studios. I am continuing with my YouTube channel. I started three months ago, uh, Michael Wickerson. I please invite you to go on in and take a look at some of the playlists and subscribe. I started very simple for you know my children at a very young age, uh, learning from Tinkercad to go to Tinker Coding and then get into Grasshopper Rhino and imagine all the things possible. I did a series of Grasshopper for Rhino ABCs 1, 2, 3, so which tried to cover every single node to get it up and running for you. I pair all files on GitHub at M. Wickerson, and those are free and available for you to take. Then I began what I you know, wanted to do, and I'm still doing, uh, 1001 scripts. And I'm at 181 scripts here. Uh, there are many more GH files on my GitHub that have many versions of each of those scripts, and they're all available for you to take and pair with the videos and see what you can do. I'm doing my first development with ARR uh, Jewelers, and I've been asked to focus on the math and the programming side of that thing. So I am beginning a new series quite simply um, from my Facebook site. I find that defining myself as a computational design developer in Grasshopper for Rhino 3D seems to fit what I'm doing. I have a mathematical history, but I have 30 years of making art. And now I'm applying those skills on a mathematical level to uh, designing. And so I started uh, just recently, and I put a, a couple of questions, um, question one and two. And what they were, they were tied to a book. And it said, uh, who has actually uh, has a copy of this book, <laughs> because it's in Chinese, and Andre Gonzalez reached out to me and gave me contact nation, and I was able to order that book. So the book is basically this one, uh, GH Python Computer Aided Geometry Design. And what I've done is I made a website with the nice logo that's attracted everybody to look at it, at least. We've garnered in 24 hours 70 key members, which are amazing individuals. It's still public to join for another 24 hours, and then you can join privately. And we are going to look at this book, take the scripts that we can read, uh, because they're an English script in Python, and we're going to slowly try and translate the content of the books uh, in a sense of, not so much translating, but let's apply the uh, scripts within there to video tutorials, which I will do in the same uh, way as I do these videos. Um, so there'll be a grasshopper window, a rhino window up, and then basically you'll see the application of those scripts. I'm not going to copy them. I'm going to make them extremely creative. I'm going to take them into other forms and other models. And I've ordered the book. It should be here in the week. Others on here have actually asked me. And we've become a pretty good resource site for those interested in rhino. Um, I am recommending people take... Uh, Jeremy Graham's LinkedIn class, which costs a little bit of money, and get through his Grasshopper and Rhino Python scripting because he is using Rhino.geometry. He's using Rhino Common in that. And I am currently taking a class at Michigan um, uh, University, which is uh, design computa uh, computing, uh, 3D modeling, or rhinoceros rhinoceros with Python Rhino script. And that's not Grasshopper based, but I feel getting through that, I'm going to try and hammer through that five week course in a, in a couple of weeks. And given the fact that I'm uh, also returning the KCAI Art Institute as a chair and trying to get everything up and running, uh, this is going to be a challenge for me. So I've made co-members, uh, in a sense, uh, of administrators on this website. I know some people are stepping in. It's extremely international. We're going to have multi-languages, multi-people. Um, we just got another member in the time I made this video, so that's exciting. Um, and it's a very serious site. What I notice with what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm older, I'm 48, uh, I'm coming to this late in life. I didn't start scripting or coding uh, or even looking at Rhino until about two years ago, but I've learned an awful lot very quickly. And I can say with all of my videos, there are almost, I think, zero dislikes, I'm not asking for to dislike these videos, but because they're very fast and they're informational, um, uh, like this one, and I'm not going to go into it, but basically this try to hit pause on that. Um, basically, you can see it's a LinkedIn learning example of what I was learning from Graham and applying that into Python scripts. So you have the everything done for you here. And I try and explain how we're, we're uh, generating points from a, a structure, raising them up, uh, and then getting into the data tree structures to access as we move into those. So I, I was getting to a point in Grasshopper that I found relative items, uh, uh, all path mapper tools, um, uh, Everything in the, in the tree uh, or sets file, I think it sets trees, what am I thinking about, um, what was necessary for me to start to comprehend and program. And I found I was doing more and more text programming as to uh, out offsets and things like that, that Python seemed super appropriate. And I've been learning in rotation, Rhino Grasshopper Python, Rhino Grasshopper Python with a bit of Houdini once in a while, a bit of C Sharp once in a while. But my main stable is Rhino Grasshopper Python, Rhino Grasshopper Python. So I think when I'm done this, I'm going to be able to interface between the uh, 
gra uh, Grasshopper um, Python library uh, components function, which is good for certain applications. Uh, be able to go into Rhino script very easily and definitely be able to write in Python, but be able to write in Rhino common. And that's what this whole site is about. And uh, even if I have to translate this book and some of the text uh, from Rhino script into Rhino common, that's fine. But I want to put a plug out again for uh, Jeremy Graham's class. And it would be a good thing for everyone to kind of in this group to kind of hedge that way and try and get a certificate of completion, at least watching those five hours of videos and realize how geometries and the things you want to make uh, are solids. Uh, if I use this pop can, um, we're thinking about it as a solid. We are uh, then, uh, yeah, thinking about it as a solid with surface on it, this side, uh, top and bottom. Those surfaces are dictated by lines and curves. Those curves are generated by points. And that's where we want to get to, making those points and having understandings of those points prior to all that geometry. I hope this makes sense to individuals because that's my end game, the point. Uh, prior to that, we have attributes X, Y, Z to that. We have driving those attributes uh, ranges. We have ranges that can be manipulated in any way possible. It's coming through domains. The domains are numbers. Numbers are generated from files like Excel documents. And the Excel documents are driven by personal information, uh, meaningful uh, things in your life. So the idea of taking uh, data or important dates uh, for somebody, uh, putting that into an Excel file and generating that all the way through, uh, say, something like Firefly and Grasshopper, people will literally be singing their rings. Uh, 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 in a sense, they could uh, then take that data, they could record it in, they could do audio, they could do visual. How does that data drive the final form? And of course, that's going to come through uh, approaching the numbers from far to what I call the left end of the script, and then end up going all the way to the right end with very um, many iterations that can happen. So you've got the parametric, the computational, the generative, and the possibility of entering into machine learning, uh, artificial intelligence, and all those wonderful things, optimization, uh, augmented reality, uh, it's, 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 it has no beginning and it has no end, but I'm chasing back the beginning the same way I used to chase back uh, philosophers of the past. What I like about this forum is I can talk to people living here and now internationally in many different languages. And uh, <laughs> Ella's uh, ready to get going for the day. And I'll try and do this all the while with three kids in the room and my lovely wife helping me. Uh, organize things. Thanks very much.